Good morning, New Life Veterans. My name is Corey Beals, and as of yesterday, February 22nd, I am 100% PNT. And this is my story. I went to the VSOs and the DAV, and they filed on my behalf. They filed it wrong, and they filed uh, an incomplete claim. And it got sent back to me after 125 days had passed. I was like, wow. From that point on, I had to come up with a different plan. And uh, I started studying and I started seeing what can I do to increase my chances of winning my case. And so I saw Julius Bennett uh, for New Life Veterans on YouTube and I contacted him around April 15th and uh, we talked and I trusted what he said to be the truth and factual. He said, these are the elements that you need to prove your case. So after we talked, I said, okay, I'm in. I paid him his money, his fee that he charged at the time. And he, um, con he hooked me up to the doctor. I was, I was filing for PTSD, but there were other things that was associated with my PTSD that I also filed for. Uh, so he hooked me up with a doctor out of North Carolina. So, uh, I met with the doctor, the doctor got me a nexus letter and he also did a DBQ for me. And, um, once I got that in hand, I put my plan together. Uh, I made it simple for the VA to look at my claim. I had all of my elements of, of that I needed, my evidence, my diagnoses, and I had a nexus letter to combine all of that stuff. It's just like putting a chain together. That chain has to be linked to each other in order for it to be a chain. Once I did that, I submitted my claim online. FDC. FDC stands for fully developed claim. So once I had, I knew in my heart that I had put everything together based on what the law said. I knew at some point that things were going to work out in my favor. So I submitted the claim. Within two weeks, they had set me up with a CMP examiner. The CMP examiner also checked the same boxes that Julius' doctor checked. I went in there, I told the truth, and it he gave me a favorable CMP exam. That was another plus for me that went along with the evidence that I submitted. So four months went by, the VA wasn't doing nothing. You know, it was no conversation about anything. You know, I called them and I say, so how, how's my case going? Blah, 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 a lot of small talk. They said, well, they still working on it. So after four months of nothing, I said, I want my case decided now. Soon as I said that, send that in to them. Veteran says he wants his case decided now. Why did I tell him that? Because I felt like that my case was solid, period. I felt like it was solid. So their response was, okay, uh, we see an issue that needs to be clarified. Uh, we're going to send you to a CMP exam. You know what I said? I said, no, not going. Why did I say no, not going? Because I felt like, again, my case was set according to the law. So for the next two months, I was calling them, telling them, decide my case, decide my case. So what did they do then? They sent me a partial decision. 
the partial decision was they denied my anxiety, they denied my uh, uh, depression, and they deferred my PTSD, and they deferred my insomnia, and they deferred my uh, OCD. That's against the law, according to the to the uh, M21 dash five, I think. You can't deny and defer without granting something. So like 30 days later, boom, got them. They, they, they sent it through. So 100% uh, PNT. You must know the law. Julius cannot hold your hand through the process. Some of it, you have to walk your way through it. You have to know the law because they will send you stuff. They will do things to try to intimidate you. But I knew I had the law on my side. So this is my message. You guys stay hopeful. I am approaching the age of 55. So um, I think mine will be locked in. I'm, st I'm still going to go to the doctor. I'm still going to take my medication. I'm going to still do what's required of me. I wish you all the best. Thank you a lot, Julius, for uh, hooking me up with the doctors and everything. Uh, Julius is worth uh, paying the fee and doing everything that he asked you to do. If you do everything that he asked you to do, you will get a good result because the law is on your side for you to be able to do that. And I'm a, whip, I'm a living witness to that. I have never applied for anything with the VA. And first time out, I got 100%. Thank you guys. That's all for now.